Hey guys, welcome back to Automation eLearn. In this video, I will explain how to extract specific information like commit ID or commit message or author name from git log. So guys, while working on git, we execute git log command to see the logs and commit details. Using git log command, we get all the details about previous commits, right? like who performed the commit, what is commit message along with commit id and author details etc. But how can we get the specific details? For example, I want to get the commit id for the last commit and author name who performed the commit. Then how we can do that? I don't want to see all the details, generally what we get using git log command. but I want to get only the commit id or I want to get the author name who performed the latest commit or I am interested in knowing what was the commit message. So how we can get such kind of specific details from git commit history. Before moving ahead, let's also understand why do we need such kind of details. What is the use case? So the first use case is suppose you are executing your test or building your code on Jenkins and uh, you want to send a notification on Teams or Slack okay, with the build status either it is passed or failed. Along with that you also want to include the commit detail for example who was the author and uh, maybe what was the commit message in the notification then you need to extract such kind of information such specific details so that you can include those in your notification. In this case here git log will not work straightforward. Another use case can be something like you need to publish some artifact in nexus or jfrog where you want to validate using commit id. In this case, you need only commit id for such comparison before releasing the artifact. These are few use cases but there could be many more use cases where we need such kind of specific details. So let's understand now how we can get these details and what are the commands that we can execute to extract such kind of specific details. So guys here I am referring one repository git reset tutorial and I am on master branch and here if I will execute git log then I can see the details about all the commits that I have performed commit id and author and the commit message and the timestamp etc. And this is the latest commit this is the, the previous commits and also Using git log, I am getting lot of information for each and every commit I have performed on this repository, right. But my intention is to get the specific detail. For example, I want to understand, I want to, I want to get the commit id, latest commit id. I don't want to see all the details what we get using git log command. I want to get the commit id of the latest commit that I have performed on this repository. So for this I need to execute git rev parse and head. So this is the command if I will execute this git rev hyphen parse head. So here we are pointing to head and it will give me the commit id of the head. Head means the latest commit that was performed on this repository for this branch. So if I will execute this then I only get the commit id over here. How we can verify this? Let's cross verify git log and when I execute git log so this is the head which is pointing to this commit id. And this is the exact commit id we got when we executed git rev parse head. So head means latest commit and it will give me the commit id of the latest commit where the head is pointing to. So using this command I can straightforward get the commit id. 
here i am not getting author details or date or messages etc but i am only getting the commit id what if i want to know the second recent commit id so using git ray of parse head i will get the id of the recent commit where the head is pointing to let's say i want to know the commit id of recent second commit so using git log and this is the recent second commit so i want to see i want to get this commit id which is starting with 23 cf i want to know the commit id of second latest commit so for this so this is the original command and here i need to use tilde and one so here i am getting the same information 23 cf so this is not the recent commit this time this is recent minus 1 second latest commit and uh, here if i use 2 then i'll get the third recent commit id so using this command you can get the commit id of required commit now let's understand how we can get the author name so in git log we see the author detail also like this is the name of the author and this is the email id of the author right so i just want to know i am interested in knowing who was the author so i want to see the name of author i don't want to get all the details if i'll use here git show then this will give me the latest commit where head is pointing so this is the commit id and these are the details and it will also show you what was the difference what was the changes that was committed as a part of this commit so here we can see as a part of this commit this is the new line this is the new details which was added but we don't want to see all these okay so what i can do is i can modify this command git show hyphen s so if i will use hyphen s s means suppress the differences so these were the details about differences and this time i have used hyphen s which will not show you the differences so i am getting just the latest commit details let's modify this further so git show hyphen s and uh, let's use some format here format and i will use percentage a n a n is for author name so using git show hyphen s i'll get the details about the latest commit using format option where i have given a n using this option i will get just the author name so let's execute this and here i am getting just the name of the author which is suresh dube and we can verify from here also author name is same we have used additional flag along with git show command to get the detail about author name similarly you can change the format parameter over here to get the other details also so this is the command that you can execute to know the author name and you can append this detail in the notification that you are sending on ms teams or slack channel third thing that i want to discuss here is when we execute git log so we saw how we can get the commit id we saw how we can get the author name let's talk about how we can read the commit message so when we do git log we see all the details right and git log if i'll use hyphen 1 then i will see the latest commit where head is pointing to so this is the recent commit performed on this branch and if i'll use git log hyphen 2 then i'll get the recent two commits this is the first commit and this is the second commit so here i am limiting the number of commits git log will display 
git log hyphen to it means only two commit details will be displayed so here i can further modify this so i am interested in knowing the recent commit git log minus 1 and uh, further i can modify this using pretty option here and i can give hyphen b so here i am saying execute git log and limit it to recent commit recent one commit and using pretty option where i want to see message only in the in the raw format so if i'll execute this i will see the commit message update m2 file let's execute this command to get the commit message of recent two commits so git log hyphen two it means two commits will be referred and we will apply the pretty option percentage b so here this is the commit message of latest commit and this is the commit message of second latest commit let's verify this git log updated m2 file updated m2 file is the recent commit add new file to new test and this is the exact same message i have given when i was performing this commit using this log i can limit the number of commits and accordingly i can see the commit messages also so these are the three specific details which we understood and uh, you can extract such kind of details and you can utilize and you can use those details in your pipeline on jenkins or if you are working on devops then definitely you need such kind of details so that you can perform some comparison for certain action so definitely these are going to be very useful when you when you deal with such kind of use cases that's all for this video guys i hope you have learned something new today from this video and uh, you can reach out to me for any doubts or any questions and uh, please subscribe to this channel to learn many other concepts and features thank you for running this one thank you